Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. I think he's still... Should be a way to Corell's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star Dad. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> Guys, can we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. I am capable of feeling concerned while still laughing at you, Peter Quill. Ditto. Maybe we should just ask someone for directions? Are you sure this is the right way, Peter Quill? It's clearly not. I'm investigating. <laughs> Gotta admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. So just like Nikki. I guess, maybe, yes. Yep, so definitely gets it from the mother's side. That's the elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? So much for your girlfriend meeting us! It did seem unlikely. All I know is I am really <laughs> starting to have this elevator. Hey, on a swivel! Dog report height. Rumbling. Being all paternal now? We're fine, Peter. We know how to fight. I know. I, I just. We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corel's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. More deadly gas. Oh, yeah. He's definitely stalling. What do you expect? You got the emotional maturity of a two year old. Are you speaking with Peter Quill? Obviously. I'll have you know, I am super emotionally mature. Look on the bright side. Longer it takes to find them, longer we can pretend they're okay. Comforting. Shouldn't you be focused on figuring out what's inside those batteries? Quietly. Do you realize you just picked a room full of deadly gas over confronting your fear of fatherhood? I did not! Stop analyzing! Dog report item. There's no dog report item. Next stop, Corel's office. Dog report item. We are lost. We're not lost. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eating at you. Some need many years to fully comprehend their paternal responsibility. None of this changes who I am. I'm still cool as a cucumber. Groot says all the cucumbers he's ever met were terrified on the inside. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. 
Pretty sure I know. Hello? Corral? Nikki? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. Or there are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Return. Hope. Promise. Nikki! Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah. This doesn't look good. Ah, appealing. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corral have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Populating with you was a capital offense under the Kree purity laws. That's not a real thing, is it? The Kree are extremely strict about their bloodline. So, when Corral said we shouldn't be doing this... It was being literal. Well, this is fancy. Or valiant heroism against unrelenting tyranny. That's the highest commendation given out by the Kree. How come I never got one of these? I did heroic stuff. You're not a Kree. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Kree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Kree purity laws. From a legal perspective, copulating with you is extreme rejection. From other perspectives, too. Oh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Kree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki would be hanging from a wall. Are you seriously focused on food right now? Mystery makes me hungry. Hey, save me some, will ya? Any luck getting in? The thing's pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Some kind of dye machine. Is it normal for Kree to dye their hair? Not unless they're hiding something. Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Is the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Kree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Okay, I'm in! But I got bad news, lover boy! What did you find? Come here and I'll show you! So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes. But we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. Not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Peter, shouldn't we head for the bridge, try to access those logs? 
Yeah, yeah, I just want to be sure we didn't miss anything. Dog rip- Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. I am Groot. How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep trying! Man, what I would give to get into some of these servers. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the road in? No! Come on! <sighs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something.
Dog report item. We have encountered a formidable new enemy, but still no sign of the ghosts. He didn't mean literal ghosts. Ghosts in the system. To think, all of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panicked scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks. Hey Groot, any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am Groot. Nope, still nothing. Perception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the Nexus control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. Any chance we might need an access number? Maybe. Won't know till you try accessing the thing first. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not... Find something? Just some personal logs. Huh. I wonder. What are we waiting for, Peter? Yeah, yeah, just psyching myself up. I do not understand. Why is Peter Quill not accessing the Nexus? Because he's scared of ghosts. Liar. Have you found any useful information, Peter Quill? Uh, well, it's something. Are you Groot? Uh, Groot wants to know if Quill's stalling because of his fear of parental responsibility. Hmm, wonder what this does. Nothing useful is my guess. Nova Corps and their bloated administrative crap. Probably need a car just to use the bathroom. No, it does not sound like a good idea. People should be free to pee whenever and wherever they want. Ew! I told you he was a monster. Dog report item. We have reached the command center, but Peter Quill refuses to access the Nexus. Well, of course it had to be locked. Rocket, think you could- Back a Nexus terminal? Not a chance. We're talking top-notch security. And I guess we're looking for a four-digit passcode. Try 1111. Why 1111? Why not 1111? I don't know, you tell me. Because it is a good number, simple and easy to remember. Clark. That's not it. I am Groot? What about it? It's a cup! Huh. Worth a shot. That's not it either. Hey, Quill, you gotta see this. So you really are scared of trying to hack the Nexus rocket? Guess your girlfriend wasn't popular among the Bucketheads. Psh, everyone complains about their captain. True. Me and Groot complain about you all the time. Even Groot? <laughs> Okay, maybe not all the time. Hmm. I am Groot. Maybe. Or not. Hypothetically speaking, Rocket, how long would it take you to hack the Nexus? <laughs> nice. That's quite the mustache. Find something? You think Corel would have used her badge number as a passcode? Worth a shot. Corel always struck me as someone direct. Makes me think her passcode is something obvious. Okay, so what's something obvious? One, 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 one. Yeah! 
Yes! Guys, we're in! Go to the criminal records, Quilt. Ugh. She crashed into a Leviathan on purpose and is still a better pilot than Quilt. They can't be that scary if they share a record. Hey, isn't that the guy we saw when we tried to pay our fine? Wow. Another guy from Earth. I am unfamiliar with this Kree. I've heard of this guy. I thought there'd be more here. You know, for a non-spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Grand Unifier Raker. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. Look. It's Jax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. What is it with you Humies and your stupid name? Alright, let's take a look. Gotta be something in here. Isn't that the mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone? Yeah. When is the footage from? Signal stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral found something. After we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. <laughs> no, you're a lotus scut. That thing's got nothing to do with us. That gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So, we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. Get to the juicy stuff already! Channeling, Channeling your Nova Force. A, a comprehensive guide to meditation and managing your mental health. Actually, I wouldn't mind a copy of it. Let me get this straight. She became a teapot? That's what my source said. <laughs> Amazing. I hate you all. Attention, away team. Please ensure your helmet cams are in full operation ahead of this afternoon's away mission into the quarantine zone. Read our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices. I had the check. Crew, sweep the leg. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. 
You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you. Come. The matriarch awaits. 